Amy Higgins, Communications Director of Elyria Schools, and welcome to New Northwood. I'm standing here with Liz Weiss of Architectural Vision Group, and if you watched our tour of Ely Elementary School, also on this channel, you met Liz then. She's going to be our tour guide today as well, as we tour this beautiful new K-8 facility. Take it away, Liz. All right, so we're here um, right off of North Abbey Road at our elementary school entrance. Um, the two entrances are on either side of the building. So we have this North Abbey one, and then just around the corner is the middle school entrance. And they have two different colors of the metal panels, um, as well as our beautiful large signs. So I don't think you'll get lost when you're finding your entrance. All right, let's head inside and see what Northwood has in store for us. So as you come into school, you'll see this vestibule and you'll be able to walk right on in when school's open. But if you're coming after when school starts or if you're a visitor, you gotta head into this way into the office and get uh, checked in. So as you can see, we're still moving in a little bit. So just pardon the mess but that'll just make it even more of a surprise when school starts. So here's our office. Why don't we just take you through? You can see what some of the new offices are gonna look like for, for our staff and the workroom. So follow me this way. We have some examples of offices throughout here. Um, this is the office workroom. More offices, the conference room for staff to use. Their own bathroom and a nice storage space for them. And then from here, we could go this way and go to elementary side, or we can go this way to the middle school side. So if you remember from our Ely tour, we have the wayfinding on the floor. We have the orange for the kindergarten, the blue for the first and second, and the green for third and fourth. So let's head over to third and fourth right now, which you can see by our green entrance and our lettering. All right, welcome to a third and fourth grade ELA again. So you can see the colors and some of the furniture is similar to Ely, but each ELA is a little bit different based off of the school and the layout but we still have the same key features of the ELA as an extended learning area, somewhere where kids can gather and work on things if they're in a different class, have collaboration, and then also we have our exposed systems as well so that they can learn about the school in which they're studying and how it goes together and be intuitive and ask questions about that. All right, let's go take a look at a classroom. So this room is actually three classrooms. We utilized the operable partitions that we have in some of the classrooms in each wing. So this classroom can collaborate with three classes at once or two, um, however the teachers decide to use it. All right, so this is one of the operable partitions. It's pretty lightweight um, because it's not electronic. So it's easy to unfold and fold back up for your different uses throughout your school year. In this part, we can see where third and fourth grade transitions to first and second. And it's really easy to see that here where we have the different colors of the floor and the different colors of the walls and of the ducks changing. It just shows how the theming really plays into each grade level and each wing. All right, so with the new 21st century learning model, it's really about creativity and using your spaces to the full potential. So with our new seating in the ELA is for this collaborative space, we've also incorporated shelving. 
and this can be the media center for each different grade level. And as we had in Ely, we have a lot of the similar ELA elements to keep things neutral, but also so that that 21st century motto goes throughout all of them. One of them, as you can see, is our garage doors. That part is really critical in bringing the extended learning portion of the extended learning area so that a classroom can really open up and flow into this space and get as spread out and as collaborative as they need to be. Okay, let's head towards the kindergarten wing and as we go there, we'll pass the art and music for the elementary school. So this is a really good example of that wayfinding. We came in through the entrance and went all the way through the first through fourth grade wing, and now we can follow the orange all the way to the kindergarten wing. And while we go there, we'll stop by the art and music on the way. Here we have our art and our music classrooms for the elementary school. So similar to Ely, our music classroom, we have our nice Illyria themed carpet. Um, we have a big open space. A lot of the technology will be the same. Like I said, we're still moving in a little bit. Um, but you can see how it's very similar to the other schools. And it's just a really good space for different types of music. Now as we had at Ely here in the elementary art um, room, we have our stainless steel tops, nice bright, open space for good learning and creativity to flow. Here is our elementary school gym, a uh, little packed. It's a good place for us to stage stuff as we're moving in. But you can see it has pretty much everything that we have at Ely, at the loo, the basketball hoops, and underneath all of this protection is a really fun flooring. All right, here we are at the kindergarten wing at Northwood. Come on in and take a look at our ELA in our classroom. As you can see, the orange is the color of kindergarten, just how it was at Ely, and that's how it'll be at all of the schools. Each grade wing's color, again, matches throughout all of the schools, so it's pretty universal. Here in this ELA, we can see that with the smaller number of classrooms for kindergarten, all of them surround the same ELA, which gives a really good cohesive collaboration between all of the classes into this one space. It's a really good example of that 21st century learning and all of the classes coming together. Let's go take a look at the cafeteria for Northwood. Northwood, welcome to your cafeteria. As you can see behind me, you have your stage, similar to Ely, but again, bigger school, bigger stage. Um, this is where both the elementary and middle school will eat. Depending on the timing and the schedule, they may eat at the same time, most likely they won't. But we still also have this nice curtain that can separate two halves of the cafeteria to keep things separate. This is where the kids will get their lunch. We have it set up for two separate lines. So one can come in a door here, come through the line and exit that way and another set can go out that way. So at all of the schools, we have brand new warming kitchens. All of the meals will be made at Elyria High School still, and then they'll come here for lunch and all of the new breakfast and all of your meals each day. So that's it for the elementary. Why don't we go take a look at the middle school part of this building? So here is our middle school entrance. Um, a little bit bigger, a little bit grander for you guys. We have our gathering stair right over here where kids can, again, collaborate, hang out. Um, we've got a lot of USB and adapter charging ports, so a good place to charge things up and maybe get a little bit of work done. Then we can go either this way or this other way to our two two-story uh, middle school wings. The middle school gym is also right over here. And as you can see, we have wayfinding again, directing you to your two locations and also bringing you down to the art and music wing for the middle school as well. All right, let's head down this way. Maybe take a look at the gym and the art and music. All right, so this is right outside of our gyms. You can see a lot of Elyria pride, home of the pioneers. Also a part of the middle school is that instead of the cubbies, we have lockers for the students. It's a little bit more of responsibility, a good step up and transition to what they'll have in high school. 
Um, let's go ahead and take a look inside the gym. All right, here is your middle school competition gym. Uh, this is also where you'll have gym class. So we have a full basketball court as well as two side courts. Uh, we have the post holes for volleyball. So you can have two side volleyball courts as well as one competition side volleyball court. As you can see as well, we have these very nice bleachers so we can host all of your events, um, sports, any sort of assembly. Yeah, we can have assemblies in here as well for the whole school. All right, let's head back out to the hallway and go right on up to the art and music wing. Welcome to your middle school art and music wing. Here we have our art classroom, our band, orchestra, and choir classrooms as well. All right, welcome to the art room for the middle school. In here, we'll have the same stainless steel tops as we had in the elementary school as well. Um, we have a nice big open space where it's good for creativity. Um, a lot of things can happen in here. You know, it's not too clean of a space, so it can get a little bit messy during the creative process. So in the middle school, we got a little bit more projects going on. Um, right off of the classroom, we have this storage room. And then right behind the classroom, we have the kiln room where they can fire different pots, um, do a bunch of different projects in there as well. And just to have enough space for everything that needs to be done in middle school art. This is the choir room. Um, so as you can see, we have the nice riser for the teacher here as well. And the risers from the old Northwood Middle School came as well. So the choir program should be up and running for school. The middle school wing has a separate room for band and orchestra. This is the orchestra room. Both rooms though have plenty of instrument storage and a lot of space for the students to sit with their instruments and be able to spread out comfortably in class. All right, so if we follow this purple stripe down this way, we have the fifth grade. If we follow the blue stripe back that way, we have the sixth grade. And then above them is seventh and eighth. Let's head on down to the fifth grade wing. All right, so we have one of our first new colors in the district. We have the purple wing, which is the fifth grade wing. So as you come on in, in these wings, um, in all of our larger campus schools, the restrooms are also designed to match the wing color as well. Here we are in the fifth grade wing, ELA. Um, we have a little bit of a different furniture for the older grades. We have more collaborative tables, similar to how they are in the maker space. And you can see again, instead of the cubbies, we have the lockers. Here we are in one of the fifth grade classrooms. Pretty much set up similar to elementary. Some of the furniture is a little bit more oriented to older students and the way that they learn a little bit differently. But a lot of the key features of the 21st century learning are the same, such as the operable walls. Um, some of the classrooms in the ELAs have the garage doors as well. So here's our maker space for the building. As you can see, it's another exposed space, really engaging with the different systems of the building, um, as well as an open, more industrial space for a lot of building, creativity, working with the hands and engaging with different systems. All right, this is the sixth grade wing, another new color. We have the teal light blue for the sixth grade wing. Let's head on into the ELA. Like we said in the fifth grade wing, the middle school has a little bit different furniture in the ELA for different sort of collaboration and, and how they wanna learn and spend their time at school. Um, why don't we head on over into one of these classrooms? Middle school also has science classrooms, so they're designed a little bit differently. All right, so this is one of the science classrooms. As you can see, a little less traditional in terms of the desks because it's supposed to be more collaborative as they do their work. We also have these different cord pull rules um, that are located throughout the room so that different things can happen and be flexible within the space. And then we don't want the science classrooms to be any different in terms of 21st century learning. So some of them also have the different types of walls and doors to extend into the ELA and with other classes. All right, welcome to the eighth grade ELA now. 
Um, as you can see, the eighth grade colors that are gonna be the colors throughout all the district is yellow. So we're at, again on the second floor and we're at the seventh grade wing, which is green for the school. Um, again, part of the mess, we're still moving in a little bit. All right, this is our middle school office, so let's take a little quick look around. Got offices down this way. It loops around. Conference room in use. And again, another work area for all the staff to use. Hi, everybody. Mrs. Mall here. I'm unpacking, cleaning, getting ready for um, everybody coming to see us here. The new building is gorgeous. You're gonna love it. Kids, it's very friendly towards you. So parents, we will stay in touch with you a lot. Uh, email, robocalls, whatever it takes. So don't be worried. We're gonna have a great start to the school year. Can't wait to see you here. Bye-bye. Thank you, Liz, for this fantastic tour of your new Northwood campus. Next up, Hamilton Elementary School. So we'll see you next time.